hello guys so welcome back um to install kali linux the first thing you have to do is install tamox as you can see uh, for those of you that doesn't know how to install tamox i already made a video before and the video should be showing at the top of at the top right of your screen right now go and watch the video now to install tamox if you do not know how to install tamox now let us continue to the installation of kali i already made an article before on how to install kali so i'm going to be using that article to show us how to install kali linux in this tutorial okay so of course the first thing you're going to do is update your 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 tamox repository with the command pkg update and it is essential to install pyroot distro and wget as i'll be showing you how to install kali linux using this method okay there are various ways of installing kali on android but i i love this pyroot distro method because it is you know very easy and straight to the point so of course the first command we're going to type is the pkg update which is the command to update your terminal and the next one is the command pkg install if you want to install wget it's okay install wget then pyroot distro all right pyroot hyphen distro and then you're going to click on enter and um yeah it is going to install and you know update your terminal all right so now period distro has been installed as you can see so the next thing we want to do now is we want to edit a kali linux installation script all right now before that we're going to we're going to create a, a, a file for kali linux in the prefix folder so to do that you can copy this command from the from the <clears throat> from the article okay i'm going to be pasting the article link in the description below so you're going to paste that command on your kali on your terminal and you're going to click on enter all right now that you've done that the next thing you're going to do is you're going to copy all of the scripts in this black box okay i'm going to be pasting the link to this article in the description below you're going to copy all of this copy everything copy copy and um, you're going to select all the script there and you're going to click on copy all right so let me just go back up to show you you can see i started from the upper um, the upper side of the box and ended at the lower side of the box so you're going to copy it make sure you copy every single script inside the box all right then you're going to come back here and you're going to paste that script as you can see so I, I i edited this script by myself and um this should work on any phone all right as long as the phone is supported by tamox this should work because i edited the script for myself and i made sure it works for both phones with 64 bit ram and 32 bit ram okay so now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to type the command ctrl x and you're going to click on yes to save the file okay now the file has been saved now to install Kali, you're just going to use the command pyroot distro install then Kali. Okay. The script above, the script you just finished editing now is the script for downloading Kali. And the command that we just entered now is the command for installing Kali Linux after editing the script. Okay. So now to log into Kali Linux, you're going to be using the command pyroot distro login Kali. Okay so um let me quickly clear this clear let me clear the page now so to log into kali linux you're going to be using the command period distro login kali and um, as you can see the cli version of kali linux has been installed so we now have Kali Linux terminal, but of course we want to use the GUI interface, which is the the interface that you know most people want to use and get used to. So to do that, I, al I already also made an article about this. Okay, so I'm going to be pasting the article also in the description. Okay, so um, let me quickly just you know move to that article now okay now we're there so now to install kali linux xfce on your cli you're going to be copying all of the commands i you know i pasted in this article okay so the first command we're going to be using is the command apt update now the command apt update is used in updating your you know 
your repository just like we use pkg update to update tamox you're going to be using apt update to update kali okay so apt update i found why i found why means yes okay so yeah kali linux is, is updating now all right so you're just going to give it a little bit of time to finish updating now that the update has been completed the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be installing xfce and its dependencies all right now to do that you can just simply copy the the commands from the article so i'm just going to copy all of these commands now and i'm, I'm going to paste them in kali okay so the command apt install xfce4 xfce4 with scan menu dot plugin and xfce4 terminal install xfce the menu plugin and the terminal all right so i'm just going to copy this copy and then i'm going to add straight down to tamox and you know i'm going to paste it paste okay now that i have pasted you can use the you know you can use colon to separate commands so i want to just copy all of these commands at once and you know install them all so apt install kali teams kali default plugin you're just going to copy that and paste also then leave a space colon then go back and copy okay copy the the box as um, the box x11 installation the box is going to you know uh, give us the permission to connect to vnc server so and that is basically it i'm going to install this now all right you're going to click on enter and um, the installation should begin and i'm um, installing so this is going to take a lot of time you know i i fast forwarded this video that is why you can see that you know everything just it ran but it's going to take a lot of time so you're going to give it time to install okay so now that xfc has been installed the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to install a browser okay so you can simply install firefox so to install firefox you're just going to be using the command apt install firefox dash esr apt install firefox dash esr so I'm going to copy this now and um, I'm going to be pasting it on the Kali Linux terminal, alright? So, copy. And um, the, I, I don't know if you can notice that there is, there is a sudo command at the back of this command. If you're using any other account, apart from the root account, it is important that you use sudo. If not, it won't work. But I'm using a root account, that is why I'm, you know, I just um, edit out the, the sudo from the, from the commands. I hope you understand that, okay? so firefox has been installed now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be connecting to vnc all right clear i'm also going to add that in the in the article so that you know how to connect to your vnc server all right so um you're going to open a new session all right you swipe from the left side of your phone and um you open a new section so the first thing we're going to be installing is x11 repo now remember that this is tamox terminal not kali linux terminal you're going to be installing x11 repo to install x11 repo you're going to be using the command pag install x11 dash repo okay x11 has been installed now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be install um tiger vnc and x server to do that you're going to be using the command pkg install tiger vnc xorg dash s host okay x host so that is going to install tiger vnc and um x server now that that has been installed the next thing you're going to do is you're going to connect okay you're going to connect to to vnc you're going to create a local connection the first to do that you're going to be using the command vnc server then dash geometry okay and you want to enter the geometry of your phone okay make sure the, the geometry you enter is according to the you know resolution of your phone the resolution of mine is 1600 times 700 you can still use this resolution but if you know the resolution of your phone you're advised to use the resolution of your phone then the command that's listen to, um, listen then tcp which is we want to connect to ratio one so you're going to be using ratio one which is the localhost one then you're going to create a colon then you're going to type the command display is equal to ratio one x host plus now what this command is going to do it is going to make the the ratio one server the localhost one server available to any other connection within the localhost okay 
now after typing that command you're going to be asked to create a password for the very first time you're you know you're installing tiger vnc so you're going to create a six digit password of your choice and confirm it then as you can see the vnc server has been started now switch back to your kali linux terminal then type the command dis display okay display now what do we want to display we want to display ratio one which is the localhost one that we just made available to any other connection earlier then what do you want to display in that um ratio one it is the xfce gui of course so you're going to be typing xfce for session all right so display sql to ratio one xfce for session and that should launch you know our xfce gui in our localhost one so you're going to open your vnc application now now i am using net hunter kex all right so you're going to be changing your your vnc connection type to ultra vnc by default it is going to be in basic vnc change it to ultra vnc then of course you want your you can name the the, the server any name you like but in the vnc connection setting make sure you're connecting to localhost then at the under end one which is localhost one then here is your vnc password okay so the password i used was one two three four five six when creating a password in the vnc earlier all right as you can remember so you click on connect and as you can see we're now in the kali linux gui all right kali linux or whatever <laughs> so we are now in the gui interface okay so I'm just going to quickly run you through the interface so that you can see what it looks like. Now, if you click on the on the menu, the menu bar right there, as you can see, there is the applications. All applications are there, and then if you click on um, the terminal interface at the at the top, you're going to be asked to select a terminal. Okay. So um, I prefer the XFC terminal. So I'm going to click on XFC terminal, and I'm going to click on OK. So and um, the next thing is um, let's the Firefox web browser. Okay, I want it to be in my in my in my panel so that it can be in the quick launch. So to do that, you can easily right click on your on your panel and go to your panel preferences. Now, when you're in your panel preferences, navigate to items, items, and um, locate the the third or the second launcher right there. That launcher you're going to double click on it okay just double click on it and then um you're going to click on the plus button there and a new window is going to come up so in that window just search for firefox and then click on add click on add now after clicking on add you can now close your you know you can close your panel close and as you can see firefox is now here in the panel so uh let me just quickly test firefox let me open the application to see what it looks like as you can see it is functioning just like a pc it is functioning just like a pc just like you 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 use kali linux on your computer you know so um let me test the web browser and see if the if the internet connection is working so youtube.com forward slash channel forward slash present tech okay which is my channel of course and um, i'm going to click on enter and wait for it to load loading enter and as you can see um please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel please please and please subscribe and turn on bell notification and comment below if there's anything you know any question you have or want to know about this so I'm going to quickly call them. Um, I'm okay. I'm going to close this now and show you other things. All right. So as you can see, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I beg of you, just click on the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications. I'm going to be coming up with more amazing videos soon, and you don't want to miss out on them. So please click on the subscribe button. Okay. So um, let me quickly close this and you know run you through other things in the in the interface so i'm going to close this now i'm going to minimize the window and then um okay let's click on the whisker menu icon again and show you the the applications 
that are defaultly installed on Kali Linux, as you can see. You know, there are, there are various settings you can do, the appearance setting and all of that, but I'm not going to be going into them in this video, okay? Because of time. Or well, if you scroll down, as you can see, there's a lot of tools installed. Right there is the Vim editor, okay? The Vim code editor. For those of you that are, you know, code with Vim, you can simply just, you know, start coding with your Kali Linux on the go. And I'm going to be coming up with more tutorials soon on how you can, you know, download code editors on this Kali Linux and, you know, code with it right from your Android phone, okay? So, um, there it is. That is just the system. I didn't want to go too deeply into this, you know, as this tutorial, I'm just going to cover how to install Kali Linux. So, let me open the terminal and, you know, show you the GUI terminal and um let's be sure that this is truly an android phone so to do that i'm going to be installing new fetch okay and what we're going to basically do with new fetch is um you know look at the properties of the system using new fetch and um yeah that is what new fetch is basically for so to install new fetch you're going to use the command apt install new fetch new fetch then i'm going to add i fan wire at the front so New fetch is installing Y, which is yes. Okay, if if I had added if and Y while typing the command, I'm not going to be showed that notification. So new fetch has been installed. And if I type the command new fetch now, you're going to see that it is going to display the properties of the system and the operating system itself of this of this particular Kali Linux. As you can see, OS is Kali Linux GUI, the host is techno. I'm using a techno phone as you can see right there and sfc terminal and all of that the cpu and the phone memory new fetch is going to you know show you everything so that is all about this video i'm going to be killing the server now which is another major thing you should know it is important to kill the server after every time you know you finish using your operating system so that you don't convince starmox and you know so that when trying to connect you don't get any errors okay so to do that just use the command vss vnc server dash q and then the the host number of the server you want to kill which is the host one the type ratio one and that will kill it all right so that is that about this video thanks for watching if you've come this far please make sure you subscribe and turn on your bell notification and um yeah that is just it i'm going to see you in the next video goodbye